Hey everyone, it's Rob B here from Property Hub. And in this video, we're gonna discuss hotspots, the property investment hotspots that you need to know about for the best opportunities in 2021. There are some that you might be able to guess, but there are definitely a couple of surprises as well. Okay, so we're gonna give you four safe bets and four ones to watch, and each of these are in no particular order. So first on our list of safe bets is Nottingham. And this is a really safe one because Nottingham, according to HomeTrack, has topped the Capital Growth League over the last 12 months, growing 5.3%. You might think that it means it's had its growth and it'll end up dropping down. And okay, it might drop down a bit, but I believe it's still got plenty further to go. The average price in Nottingham is surprisingly low and affordability is surprisingly good, especially when you consider everything that Nottingham has got going for it. Geographically, it's got such good transport transport links to London and other major cities by road and rail. It's also got a big student population from its two universities, but it is not just a student town. There are so many major employers across a diverse range of industries in Nottingham as well. And it still seems to be a bit under the radar. People are not talking about Nottingham as much as they talk about other cities, but it is starting to get noticed now with more and more employers setting up shop there. So Nottingham had a great 2020. I think it's going to have just as good a 2021. And Liverpool, for many of the same reasons also makes our list this year. Affordability in Liverpool remains low and Liverpool like Nottingham has also performed quite well over the last couple of years with property prices but we think it's got a long way to go. The investment projects here Mark for Liverpool are absolutely huge. We're talking projects that run into the billions which will make a huge difference to the local economy. And Liverpool is a world famous city, so it also attracts international investment. So because of its affordability, all the investment the city's already had, all the investment to come, and its world famous status, we think Liverpool will do great things in 2021. Next on our list is Leeds, another investment that's not gonna win you any awards for bravery or originality, but you don't need that in investing. You just need a good solid location, and that's what Leeds is. If you'd bought last year, you'd be up by nearly 5% by now. But again, like Nottingham and Liverpool, we believe it's got further to go. Leeds again has great advantages in terms of transport links by road and rail. It's again got a diverse range of employers and employment in Leeds is growing faster than almost anywhere else. There's also billions of pounds being invested across the city, including a couple of major schemes, but lots of other smaller investments as well. Leeds is interesting because it was a victim of overbuilding just before the 2008 crash, and as a result, there was oversupply. But that was over 10 years ago now, and that perception of oversupply has been maintained, which means that not enough has been built there. And even though there are cranes up around the city now, they're mostly for blocks that are gonna be institutionally owned. So stock available to regular investors is still limited. Put all that together and we believe Leeds is set for another very good year. Next on our list is Greater Manchester. So if you've been following us for a while, we've championed Manchester as a great place to invest. And we still believe that to be true. But we feel the best opportunity in Manchester this year may lie just outside the city. While the city centre has done fantastically well with investment and regeneration and the resulting property price increases, has meant that people have looked elsewhere and are looking at different places to live rather than the city centre, particularly if they've been priced out. So areas like Stockport, Bolton, and many others are becoming very attractive. Low price points, great affordability, and lots of regeneration projects planned. Now, Greater Manchester is a huge area and some will outperform others. So look for the areas where affordability is particularly strong, backed up with either current investment or future investment planned. So those are four pretty safe bets, but we've got some outside picks for you as well. And we're gonna kick them off with one that even we're surprised to be mentioning. Yes, on our ones to watch list comes the home counties. Now for many years now, we haven't recommended anywhere in the Southeast to invest. So this is a big step for us, but will you believe there's a potential opportunity here? With everything that's happened in 2020, people are making different life decisions. And there seems to be, at least currently, a trend of people looking to move out of London and find more space. And that's meant the home counties has really benefited from this. Other areas have too, but the home counties has the benefit of being close to London, commutable, and having extra green space, which seems to be important to people right now, and understandably so. Now, this might be a temporary trend. We don't know if it's gonna continue. And because of that, we're putting it on our wants to watch list rather than a safe better list. But if you are an investor in the Southeast, and some of the places we've mentioned seem a little far off for you, then you might find comfort at looking at the home counties for your next investment opportunity. Again, like Greater Manchester, it's a huge 
area to cover. So do look for the best areas, the best affordability and the best fundamentals, things like transport links into London when picking your investment opportunity in 2021. Our next one to watch is Sheffield. And Sheffield has been a one to watch for years now. It's not been a bad investment over the last few years, but it hasn't really popped yet. We don't believe that 2021 is the year that that's going to happen, but it is a good time to buy in because we strongly believe that Sheffield's best time is yet to come. If you look at average property prices in Sheffield, they are staggeringly low compared to other equivalent cities. And much like some of the other areas we've mentioned, it's got a big student population, it's got great transport links, and it's got a real mix of local employment. Considering how much Sheffield has got going for it, it just hasn't had the investment yet and the property price growth hasn't been there. But just like the potential of Liverpool has been realised over recent years and development there has really taken off. That same thing might not happen in Sheffield this year, but it is definitely on the horizon. Next on our ones to watch is Belfast. Now Belfast in the last property cycle went great guns and property prices went through the roof. And after the 2008 crash, well, they were probably hurt more than any other property market in the United Kingdom. And prices now in 2021 are still way below their peak in 2008. A significant amount of time has passed and investors today are paying a lot less for property compared to investors back in 08 and 07. And when you look at the numbers, it just doesn't stack up. It doesn't make sense for us. Belfast just seems too cheap. It's too good to be true, the property prices. It is, after all, a capital city. It is a world famous city, and it's a city that's benefited from lots of investment over the last few decades. When you look at the national capitals in the UK, it is significantly better value than all the others when you look at the price to earnings ratios. So because it offers such incredible value, its status as a capital city, and all the investments it's enjoyed over the last few decades, we believe that Belfast will be one to watch. Like Sheffield, it might not happen this year, but it can't carry on forever. And finally on our ones to watch list, there's Derby. Right back at the beginning, I said how Nottingham had been overlooked despite everything it's got going for it. Well, the same is true for Derby, so close to Nottingham and benefiting from so many of the same advantages, but actually even less on the radars of property investors. Derby benefits from having major employers in the manufacturing industry, such as Rolls-Royce, Toyota and Bombardier. And as a result, wages in Derby are in the top 10 in the UK making property affordability very good indeed. Again, the reason it's on the ones to watch list is because we don't expect prices in Derby to explode this year, but we do believe that if you get into Derby in 2021, your future self will be thanking you for it in years to come. So there you have it, four safe bets and four areas to watch, keep your eye on. But before you go jumping in and investing in any of these areas, a huge word of warning. It's easy to go invest in any of these areas and get it very wrong. Just because it's a hotspot doesn't mean it's a guaranteed sure thing. Just like every other area of the country, there are good places to invest, bad places to invest, good deals to be had and bad deals to be had. How do you know if you're investing in a good place or not? Well, knowledge and expertise. So make sure you do your research before making any investment. Subscribing to this channel will go a long way to helping you on that journey because we're constantly churning out more and more information to help you become better property investors. So make sure you subscribe and let your friends know about us as well. So there you have it. Do you agree? Do you disagree? And what areas do you think we've missed? List below in the comments. And make sure you subscribe so you get more great videos like this one.